Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this rather large scope here is the Orion uh, 190 millimeter uh, Maksutov Newtonian uh, telescope. It's a Mac Newt. So from the outside, it looks like a reflector. Uh, the eyepiece comes off the side here. There's a primary mirror down on the bottom, so uh, like a Newtonian reflector. But there's a spherical corrector plate up top, making this a Mac Newt. So it kind of combines the, the two worlds. Macs usually have a very long focal length, and reflectors are usually a little bit shorter focal length, wider field of view. This is a uh, thousand millimeter focal length, f5.3. So it's actually a nice, fast uh, scope for imaging. And that's its primary purpose. It's got a very flat field of view. A normal Newtonian would have a lot of coma, uh, which at the edges of the field of view would be like stars uh, showing little uh, deformations, like a little seagull shape, perhaps. Uh, a Mac doesn't have any of those problems. It's a very flat field from center to edge, no distortion. So an excellent way to image the night sky without spending a lot of money on a very expensive, uh, uh, say, refractor of the same aperture. So uh, all in all, uh, an excellent astrograph. So uh, let me show you some of the features and get a little bit more in depth with it. So first of all, the telescope weighs 22 pounds. So I've got it shown here on an atlas mount, but uh, especially if you're imaging, you're gonna want some larger uh, uh, equatorial mount to hold this thing stable. Uh, 22 pounds, comes with two rings and a Vixen style dovetail rail. So it'll fit on any mount that's designed for the Vixen or the larger mount with an adapter down to the smaller one. Finder scope bracket on the side, a uh, dual speed focuser up top, and it's an 11 to one reduction gear. So you've got your coarse focus here, and then also here, and then, then the knob on the end is an 11 to one reduction, so you can get very precise focus. When you're imaging, that critical focus zone is very, very small, so having the uh, reduction gear really helps get uh, perfect focus. So I mentioned the corrector plate up front, and I'll swing it over here so you can see. So a very beautiful piece of uh, multi-coated uh, glass. It's fully multi-coated, uh, high reflectivity on the primary mirror down below. The secondary is nice and small compared to some scopes like an RC, which have a very large central obstruction. Um, this one is 62 millimeter diameter, uh, which is big enough to fully illuminate some larger CCD chips, but not large enough where you start to lose some contrast. So actually visually, uh, this scope works very well. Um, I've used it to see lots of deep sky objects. Planets look good. It's, it's a very high contrast visual scope, uh, even though it's really primarily based as an astrograph. So as an astrograph, um, it really shines on deep sky objects. Uh, like I said, it's, it's a thousand millimeter focal length, so that's kind of medium focal length. Uh, if you consider a Mac or a Cassegrain is um, like 1500 to 2000 or more. Uh, and a small refractor is four to 600 millimeters. This falls right in between. So image scale wise, this is great for like most of the Mezze objects, uh, the, anything in the Southern Sagittarius area, the Lagoon, the Trifid, uh, some larger things like Andromeda Galaxy would look very nice with this with a bigger format chip. Uh, and it's f5.3, so that's gonna be uh, fairly short exposures. Um, if you're imaging with a, like say an eight inch Schmidt cast at f10, your exposures are gonna be longer or you need a lot more exposures to get the same signal to noise ratio. So at F5.3, you can be pretty efficient with your, uh, uh, with your photographs and get a lot of signal very quickly. Inside, you can't really see it from, from the outside, but there's baffles all the way down um, the scope, so, and they're knife edge, they're nice and thin. So there's very high contrast, very little light bounce from stars out of the field of view or neighbor's lights or whatever else you've got out here. So a very high contrast uh, tube. And then I did mention that it, it's sort of built on the style of a reflector, so it collimates like a reflector does. There's uh, three screws up top for adjusting the secondary mirror. You've got a push-pull system down on the bottom for collimating the primary. So it really doesn't um, work much different than your average reflector in terms of use and how you align it. Um, Sometimes RC scopes can be a little more difficult to align. You don't have to worry about that here. It's a, it's a pretty simple process. All right, well, there you have it. This is the Orion 190 millimeter Mac Newt uh, reflecting astrograph. It's probably my favorite telescope for imaging the sky. It performs like a really high-end astrograph for a fraction of the cost, gives you a fast focal ratio, f5.3, medium uh, magnification, 1,000 millimeter focal length for framing those deep sky objects perfectly. And it's got great correction, the, the optical performance out to the edge of even a very big format CCD chip is excellent. Stars are nice and pinpointy. So again, one of my favorites for imaging the night sky. Thank you very much, clear skies.